Next message. So I just ate a little bit of my burger. I didn't really eat much of anything. I just wanted to enjoy it a little before I took my journey home. So I can enjoy it fresh. And then I was hungry. But I didn't eat much. Like I didn't even eat half a burger. So it's okay. Like on my whole way here. I was already like ugh, I ready to go home. So I know that's what that is but I did make sure I ate a little bit because who wants a soggy burger when they get home and french fries so
so I'm doing something a little different tonight. So I decided I want my bed back. So we're gonna put the bed back together. And while we put the get the bed the bed back together, I figured I could answer 50 facts about me. So I wrote down 50 facts about me. Make this little introductory type of video for anybody who may be interested. So yeah. This looks good. I'm glad I put the bed up. Like this is a whole vibe. Ooh, look at Snoopy. Oh, set the tone. Oh, I didn't want him to get up. But yes. Ooh, forgot to fix this. But yes, I love it. <laughs> some new polish nothing fancy so um really i got it to for my nails see right here one of the little thingies came off so oh you can't really see that bad but right here this finger right here got a little missing so i'm gonna take some gold polish and paint over it just because i just don't like the way that look even though it don't look bad she did it like that on purpose but for my own sanity and also i just need some new polishes okay so let's see what we got what we got even snoopy was like oh, what's in here now he just being nosy because he being nosy and I said something to him. Ugh, can't open it. Oh, there we go. All right. Dang. They got everything on there. I don't know if you can see it. But this is the brand. Oh, I was hoping to actually get a demonstration of the colors. But this is what it looks like. It's really cute. And I think I paid, what, $8, $9 for these polishes. Not bad because I can go to Sally's and get one polish for $10, technically $12. So this is this color. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm gonna go get a piece of paper so I can swatch it. Okay, so I got my piece of paper. And the first color we had, this is what she looking like. Ooh, that's my color. I like that. It's giving midnight sky vibes. That's what that's looking like or her she cute or whatever next one uh, let's see. it's what she looking like uh-uh stop Ooh. yes Ooh, i like mm-hmm my toe is about to be pretty. I like that. That's really nice. It's giving me close enough to rose gold vibes. And I'm here for that. I'm here for that. That's pretty. Which 
I got it for gold. So, hey, that's a win-win. Here's another gold right here. <coughs> this one looks a little more clearer. Yep. Need about three coats of this. But this one, actually, I feel like this one matches my nails the best for that area. But it's pretty nonetheless. Yeah, it's really pretty. That's another one in the gold. And if you can't tell, yes, I got it for gold. But the sparkliness won me over. I love the sparkliness. This one, can't really see this one. So this one must be really dark which this is probably the main, yep. <laughs> I didn't even know this one had um, sparkle in it, but this is, I got this one because it was black, basically. <laughs> is it black? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, it even looks like purple when you see it with the sparkles, but yes, that's what I got it for. And um, this one, the right here one and two is why i got it basically oh and then here is another black one i think this one is the plain black i thought i saw plain black yeah i got me another plain black so i have me two black polishes so that's a win-win because for the most part i paint my toes black like most girls are white on their toes yeah i'm black i'm black and then i don't know if this is clear or not but we about to see oh it's white and yes that's what it is it is white which if you got ugly feet like me and you want to add a pop of a uh like a a softer color like say for instance this one and just pretend like it's a lighter color if you want it to appear and you have darker toenails if you paint it with a white polish first then you can apply like three coats of this or until that white disappears and you can add that pop of color that you want so that's why i did get excited about the white color so yeah those are my polishes i'm really not gung-ho on fixing my nail and I even found the piece where I can actually probably put it back on so we'll see what happens but yes we just took it a step further brought some colors basically um I've been needing some new toe colors anyway and if it wasn't for the black color and the dark sparkles I probably wouldn't have got this and honestly I did get it because it was white because I'm like you know what we all paint our toes white so yeah here's my little Amazon haul nothing fancy one item that's it <laughs> but I was low-key excited for these colors just because it's polishes so I'm gonna be good for now and keep it in the box and most of these products that I've been getting off of Amazon, I've been keeping them in their boxes and they've been holding up pretty well. Like my wax kit, like it makes for a great decoration accent in a sense. So yeah, good quality. Most definitely good quality. Like just the packaging alone, I knew it was good quality. <laughs> Neighbor 
where people stopped me yesterday and had love letters that asked me why I never speak. And so, me personally, when you ask a stupid question and you know exactly why the fuck I don't speak to you, baby, I can't hide it. Because it's like, nigga, what? Like, you seriously asking me this right now? Because the one thing about me is, if you speak, I speak. Now, if I wave and speak in my way when I see you physically, and you turn your nose up at me, bitch, you let me know right then and then that your attentions wasn't good. So that was what I was about to say, and he knew that. So he hurry up and he stopped and like try to divert the thingy towards me. And yes, but the thing about it is I don't fraternize where I live regardless. Like I don't want no drama to my home life. I've had that shit. Even when I didn't even have any interest in the dude, didn't give him no time of day, nothing. I, I've i had that. So, my number one rule for my damn self is we not doing shit at no apartment that we live in just for the sake of my peace of mind. So, you let me know then what your attention was. But it's like, nigga, number one, you owe X that off the list. Number two, you ugly. You're not my type. X that off the list. And then now that you've spoken to me and I've seen your mouth, really X that off the, the list. And not on no, I think my teeth are better than anybody because I have my own teeth flaws. But people who let their teeth go are lazy people who just didn't even put an effort into anything like you let life get the best of you and i'm like nigga the fact that you turn your notes up at me and you were 10 times worse than me that lets me know in itself that even if i was interested you would do nothing but tear me down to bring me to your level and i'm sorry i don't want to be at that level i never wanted to be in that level don't be mad at me because i'm doing what i have to do to make sure i'm at a level where i'm comfortable that's not my fault you owed it to me. You had your chance in life to do what you needed to do. So, yeah. <laughs> Shawty get thawed off with my bed. Shawty get thawed off with that head. Shawty get thawed off with that red. Shawty get thawed off with my bed. Shawty get thawed off with that red. Shawty get thawed off with that bed. Shawty get no one feeling right. I need a little bit of that sweat. You know I'm finna go all night. Yeah. And I see him going behind the bed. I'm like, uh-uh, what you getting? And now I'm trying to figure out, did he hide this behind the bed? Now I asked. And he hit, he shook his head. No. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you look so cute. But stop it. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, did he hide it here? Or how did this get underneath the bed? But he got it out already, so... Really? You look so cute. Go ahead. Get it. No. You look so cute. Go get it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're so excited. Snoopy was telling the truth. He, I don't know, I guess in the midst of playing, it went underneath the bed. So I finally got to see how it got underneath the bed. But it's crazy because he really did say, he really shook his head no when I was like, did you put this under here? And I can't believe he really was telling the freaking truth. Like, <laughs> I thought he, I really thought it was in my head when I would ask him questions and he would shake his head. Well, he would shake no. And I was like, oh, that's no. 
But low key, I'm like, he probably not even really talking. But no, he really said no. Okay, so I should have done this a hundred years ago, but it wasn't on priority list until I did it this thing. But I'm about to fix this purse real quick. I'm about to just basically sew this back on so I can continue to rock this bitch. So all I did was I bent this back. And I bent these things back so I can stick my needle through there. And we just gonna keep it out on the Okay, so before I continue, only because I'm just so accustomed to double stitching, basically. So this is sturdy. Like, this ain't going nowhere. But we, it got some wiggle in it. So we gonna double stitch that little wiggle wiggle, okay? <laughs> <laughs>
Protective measure action. Okay. And bam, beesh. We got our little raggedy purse back. <laughs> and believe it or not, I got these purses expecting them not to last long. Like, honestly. So, the fact that I was actually able to fix this. I'm actually shocked but I'm happy about because I do like this purse this is one of my favorite purses that I have out of most of the purses that um I brought in like he don't like my stuff I be creating but look how freaking comfortable he looks and he was snoring you stay there you finish chilling okay so I'm about to work on this wig we're about to tone her up finally after a hundred years basically two months pretty much so we're just gonna start with this because i know i'm not gonna have time to finish um i'm going to be using this 9p from a loxy and i'm going to be using mainly this 20 volume developer now in a person you would use five or ten volume because this has already been basically bleach. So at this point, we're toning, and with toning, we're not depositing. So this, I'm using this 20 because I don't know if you can tell, but that gold, that yellow that you see, like even though I'm toning, and even though I I'm toning, and if I had this on a real person, I would not use 20 only for the simple matter of fact that on a person, this would be basically what it would look like on a person, but it wouldn't be as yellow or as gold as it is on the extensions because extensions basically times extensions by two, three people's hair. And that's how hard it is to kind of like get it to penetrate so that's why we're using 20 because we want to lift out that gold that i see and we don't need to lift it much so that's why we're using 20 so 10 for a person 5 for a person 20 for extensions and honestly you could probably do 30 but it is what it is 
I'm just going to use 20 because literally we're toning. And um, I have my scale here. I forgot my bowl. I have my scale right here. And so when we're pouring our stuff, it tells you right here. So whatever amount of color that I'm going to do, that's that one. And then this one and a half ratio is this. So what you're going to do is you're going to add um, that 1% of that color. And then you're going to add another half of that 1% that you add to that color. So it's going to be more liquid than it is developer than uh, then it is color but be mindful there are colors out there that have a one-to-one -one ratio so all that it is one amount color one amount of liquid it's all the same and if you go over a little bit it's not gonna hurt okay so i have my bowl we're gonna tear this out to zero we have our color so we're just gonna use the rest that's in here which ain't nothing <laughs> but that added 1.5 grams get it baby oh that's strong okay so that's gonna be 48 and if you want to round it up to 50 you can round it up to 50 so that means for this we will have <laughs> for this we're gonna do 50 times 3 which is 150 so, if you're a mathematician, just you can easily add on to this, but literally, tear to zero, add your 150. That's a lot. But there we go. And it went over a little. Oh, we got us an angel number. Hey. So it did go over a little, that's perfectly fine, but I'm gonna go get me a plastic bowl so I can whip this up. Okay, I forgot I uh, <laughs> got rid of those bowls. So we just gonna use this cups. Specifically to mix it up. Okay, so this is the consistency that we have, which this is why I like liquid versus cream. Because I feel like it just penetrates just a little bit better. But this one right here is the cream base. So it would just be a little bit more creamier than that, which I'll probably show you because I want to use that up. So we got our gloves. We have our towel. And we have our color. We have our already sectioned how we want her. So this back section right here is going to be all this color. And then depending on how I feel when I get up here, uh, we're going to have leftover of that color. And then I have some other colors that I may mix into it. So we'll see how I feel. And I have somewhere to go. So I'm really going to have this sitting the whole time. Um, after the whole development stage, it does stop processing. So that's why I'm not really worried. But if something bad happens, something bad happens. <laughs>
okay this is what we have so far and i can't lie this might actually be looking pretty good oh. so we just have this section right here kind of like a little mohawk section left and um I don't know. I feel like I want to do this for sure. But I got to see. Yeah, I probably will. No, here we go. 9A. It's the same color, just a different. Um, um, <laughs> undertone, basically. Like, this is very light ash blonde. And I think this one is just regular ash blonde. Oh, it's violet ash blonde. So that's the difference between those two. So I know I want to add this just out of synchronicity. But there's not much for these. And this is really what I want the mohawk section to look a little bit different. So this is just a higher number of, of both of these. So... That's why I want to add those. So we'll see what happens. And in all honesty, I might just do the 9A because I really do get a lot of color with this specific brand. So I don't know. I don't know. I might have to go look at some blonde highlights on Pinterest it's or something. Fast, and he's been in here the whole time. Big chilling. He loves his cage. He loves his cage. Uh-uh, you stay, 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 stay. Uh-uh, uh, stay. Stay. You don't gotta move. You ain't gotta move. Just stay. There you go. Get back in there. Yes. But yeah. So yes, he loves his cage. He loves the clothes I throw in there and everything. So we love this energy. When he's in his cage, I'm over here doing my thing. But we still working on it. Because he, I'm trying to teach him to have personal space and to enjoy his alone time. Because he be catching attitudes with me too. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I decided. Because I looked at this one and this is light is cool blonde. So to me, when it says cool blonde, it's giving me vision of more of a wider blonde. So, I think that's the vision that I've been trying to figure out this whole time. So, this 9A is going to be the base color. And then, this light is cool blonde. I'm either going to do a balayage. You know what? I'm going to do a combination of balayage and foiling. That's exactly what I want to do. Because when I was doing the back. I started to do balayage motions. So, yeah, all of this is going to be balayaged and foiled. And, oh, that's going to be so Carrying his fire. mama's purse and holding her hand. Look how pretty this car is. Oh, I was hoping I could catch it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so pretty. It's not even my type, but it's so pretty. Oh, I have one of my favorite donut spawns. And it's so cute because there's a little white girl in there. No, she's not little. She in her 20s for sure. But there's this white girl. And she reminds me of my Laramie. She's just so cute. And she always compliments me. It's so crazy because last time I saw her, she had all these short shorts on. And I was like, oh, baby, she looks good. And I was like, I finally get to tell her that. And I was like, I wanted to tell you that last time. So I was like, at least now. Finally, I can tell you and compliment you because you look good too, just as much as you complimented me. So, just love that energy. Love it. Look at the water. I can tell which direction the rain is coming from. Ow. Oh, it's raining, but I absolutely need to clean these damn rims. It's looking horrible. They look better already. And literally, all I've done so far is Windex. And then I used the brush to get it like loosed up. These 
said she looking like. Oh, she looks so good. I was not expecting her to get this clean, but baby, she did it. Yeah, if she did I don't it. get a G-Wagon, <laughs> this is the kind of like I want. Like, I want to be able to have That is it. This is the one I said I wanted. Oh my god, I can't believe it. And I barely ever see this car. This is the first time I've ever seen this car on the road. And I'm getting deja vu as I'm saying it, so I'm signing off. <laughs> wow, my puzzle piece. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, the old man that stepped to me and made it seem like I um, didn't want to speak to him as far as then ever. Um, it's just so funny how I still managed to ignore him. Not even for the fact that he spoke to me, but for the mere fact that that's like, you made your baby lying and type of shit. Like, there is no, like, once you show your two colors, that's all I'm going to believe. And it's just so funny how... The one thing that keeps popping out is the fact that he tried to make my headphones an issue. Like, he tried to use my headphones as a way of saying that he couldn't, I couldn't hear him. And it's like, no, 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 nigga. What I'm doing for myself ain't got shit to do with you speaking because literally it's low enough where I can hear. I can hear. You don't be saying shit. You think you can use that as a, an excuse for putting the blame on me for what? I have no clue. But it's the fact that he still sits out there and acts like, and I can feel his energy, like wanting me to look up. But it's like, nigga, you laid your bed. I ain't got shit to say to you. Like, nigga, <laughs> your fault for judging, your fault for thinking because. I had no interest in you, then automatically, you know, you can just shrug me off. Like, no, like, oh, okay, that's where you stand. Okay, I'm not going to speak to you. I'm ignoring you. There's nothing that I need to do directly towards your way. And it's just crazy how he just sits there and still just waits for me to look up so he can speak. Even if you, even if I manage to look up and catch an eye with you, you're going to get that nigga head nod. Like, you want to speak? Okay, nigga what's up that's what you get now that's literally that's the next step it ain't gonna be no wave no high no bye it's gonna be every fucking time and i just can't wait to see his face when he gets that shit from me because then he gonna realize real quick like nah you mess with the wrong one you mess with the wrong one. It's like, mm-mm. All you do is sit on your ass all day long. Mm-mm. What do you have to offer me? Literally, what do you have to offer me? Nothing. But y'all niggas who ain't got shit to offer me really do expect for me to bow down to you. No. <laughs> oh, and also, since I'm in a moment of talking all about people and their assumptions about me, um, it's so funny how people ask questions but then they don't even give me the opportunity to answer my own questions but instead they project their assumptions about me and then keep it going because they don't want to hear the truth so i'm only saying this because i'm making the dogs food and then everything and um chicken is what we're about to talk about so i got me a pizza it has chicken on it before i can even open the door I'm about to call him sasquatch okay sasquatch Snoop Dogg was already sniffing in the air. As soon as I got in the car, he did that harsh sniff that he does when he likes something. I was like, okay, your ass really like chicken. And it's like, it's so funny because I was talking about him at work to the manager. And she just automatically made the assumption that chicken wasn't something that my dog was accustomed to. And it's like, no. And it's like so quick, I was like, no, like in solid words, he's already told me that chicken is like one of his favorite foods. And it's like, <sighs> niggas, like you said, it, like she of all people is the main people who just steady keep making assumptions and not even letting me answer these questions. So that's why I'm bringing it up because it's not even a fact that I let her assume because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let you keep assuming, but you're wrong because it's like, it's no point. Because people don't listen. Like I've said before, 
which that don't bother me in a sense because I know what I'm talking about. I mean, one thing when it comes to me and what I do, I'm not going to speak on anything that I don't physically know if I'm not physically doing it or I haven't physically lived it or haven't physically been front row seat and send it to somebody who's had the same issues and 100% if I see somebody else have the same issue I'm going to heed that fucking warning so I don't make the same fucking mistake so I'm doing nothing but passing down my warnings that I saw and so forth and so forth so it's like I'm so tired of people just steady, constantly assuming and then getting mad or don't want to be wrong. And so they hurry up and just try to shut me down as if that was really going to make a difference in what your said problem or issue or assumption is about. Like, I'm still going to do it how I am. Just by the time you realize, you the one that's going to be looking stupid type of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's that bird in the VIP line With the V-Tire and the East Line You should try the V-Sign, that she in a P-Mine I don't want her